G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw With Jazza. I'm Jazza and today I'm going to do the three colour challenge with three large markers. But the problem is I only have two of these large markers and neither of them are colours. So I'm going to have to find a way around that. To give you some context, this is the normal type of marker I use. It's called a Copic Sketch and it has two ends, a brush tip and a chisel tip. And this is an example as to the thickness of the stroke of the chisel tip. This is a Copic Wide marker. It's a much larger marker only with a chisel tip and the thickness of the stroke looks like that. I honestly pretty much never use the chisel tip on my Copic sketch markers because the brush tip enables you to have a lot more control and create some really fine details if you need to. Whereas with a Copic wide marker, you're basically limited to uh, whatever approach you have with that very thick chisel. You can of course use the end to draw like that. So there are ways to get around it and add some detail, but it's a lot less organic. Now, of course, I'm going to need some more interesting colors than plain black or colorless blender. So what I'm going to do is use my RT Games app and I've put into a new profile called Copic Wide all of the colors that exist in the Copic Wide range. And it's going to give me three colors from the entire Copic Wide range whereupon I will then purchase them and they will be mailed out to me. I don't own them yet. <laughs> so no more dilly dallying. The three colors I will be using are warm gray number three, dark bark and warm gray number nine. So with the magic of editing, I'm gonna skip forward a week or two and we'll take it from there. I've come from the future bearing gifts of markers. <laughs> and not only that, but I have a giant piece of paper. That's right, aside from using three Copic wide markers, I'm gonna be using them on a very big piece of paper. Now I will preface this isn't blending card. This is just paper from Kmart. So I don't know if, if the the saturation of, of when I use the markers on the paper is going to be a bit weird, but I'm crossing my fingers and hoping for the best. So let's have a quick look at these colors that I'm going to be working with today. The lightest of the three is this W3 marker. These two are going to be sort of competitive for the which is the darkest marker badge because they're both pretty dark. So that's the, the E49 uh, and then we have the W9, which is in the same color family as the, the first one, the W3. It's a bit streaky there, so I gotta. I guess I gotta watch out for that. I don't know if I can wear that in a bit, just to make sure it doesn't streak when I use it. So just like that, we're ready to go. I have my colors. They're very earthy, quite brown sort of colors. So I'm interested to see what I can do. And I think I want to theme my artwork around the giant, the fight against the giant. Again, working with earthy colors, fight against the giant, maybe some sort of battle. I think this could be a load of fun. So uh, wish me luck. I start off by using my W3, which is a very, very light tone to start to sketch in the silhouettes and the basic shapes. Uh, and I'm trying to position things in a way that creates a bit of a dramatic perspective. Once I've blocked that in, I start to put in some outlines of some clouds and then slowly work into the body of the main creature. I'm essentially drawing or sketching with shadow itself. I'm just trying to fill in the areas that I know will be hidden from a light source and then leave areas for light to create a bit more of a shape. I use the tip of the marker for the most part when drawing my female warrior who's going to be facing our giant uh, ogre-like creature in the distance. And I'm drawing her in the foreground and she's standing on a rock. And I'm gonna come back and color that in later, but I want her to be a bit darker than the rest. Next, I'll move on to my W9, which as you can see, almost looks like a solid black. I very quickly realized I need to use a very strong uh, light and shade contrast and also really work with geometric shapes because the chisel is so rigid to work with. I essentially had three strokes that I could use. The thin tip of the very point of the chisel, the full broad chisel, which is very thick, and then I could also brush it, which you can see I started to use quite heavily because when I realized that was an option, it became a bit of an asset to me, which essentially entailed using the entirety of the chisel, but then only barely pressing it to the paper and whisking it very quickly while lifting my hand. Once 
Once again, when getting to my female warrior, I use the tip of the chisel mostly to get much more of a defined and detailed look, which also helps distinguish her from the main ogre character in the distance. One of the difficult things to do was to decide how to balance the use of my dark brown and dark warm gray. Both are extremely dark and quite similar in tone, to be honest, and just have different levels of warmth to them. I decided to keep the W9 or the near black warm grey to the main characters themselves and then added a little bit of uh, the brown in the shading later. It was a really difficult balance to keep to try and not overwork the silhouettes and figures and the shading. Part of me feels like in some areas I, I might have been better off leaving it in uh, some of the earlier positions and strokes but that's one of the tricky things about these challenges and using markers in general is there's no undo button so you've really got to try and figure out when enough is enough. There you have it ladies and gentlemen, this is the result of my three marker challenge. I'm gonna be honest, that was really hard. I hope you liked the result, but I had two extremely dark markers to work with of a very similar color and one really, really light marker that actually by the end, I don't know if you could tell in the video or not, was almost completely dry. So, <laughs> so I was actually hoping to come back and do some blending and try and mix things in a bit, but I really wasn't able to do much of that. So those limitations in mind, I really hope you enjoyed the three marker challenge. I hope you enjoyed the, the three giant marker challenge. So if you did, make sure to leave your comments and let me know if uh, I should do it again. It's, I'll be honest, it's a little bit expensive to do. It's like 40 bucks a go <laughs> because I'm gonna buy these markers and postage and the paper, but, uh, I hope you loved it and uh, I really thought it would be fun to try and do that, you know, three marker challenge idea but in a way that turns it up a notch and uh, turns up the challenge level and this was easily one of the more difficult challenges I've I've done and as you can, t it's hard to sort of tell without my like hands in there for scale but this is quite a large peace <laughs> so uh anyways thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe if you haven't and of course if you're interested in generating your own marker colors uh whether it be for copics or different kinds of markers check out the arty games app link is in the description thanks for watching everyone and until next time i'll see you later thanks for watching make sure to subscribe to my channel for new content every week if you want to support my work and get some goodies for yourself, head over to my store for archives, ebooks, digital brushes, video courses, and more. If you enjoyed this video, here's a link to another video you might like from this channel. And if you want even more, make sure to check out all my behind the scenes action on my vlog channel, Daily Jazza. Draw with Jazza is proudly sponsored by Adobe. Join the creative cloud today and get loads of incredible creative tools like Photoshop, Animate, Premiere Pro, and other apps for your computer or mobile device. That's it for now. Thanks for joining the arty party and until next time, I'll see you later.